Just wow. by watching the footage, it's clear this man is not of sound mind at the time yeah. of the video. There are many theories. Yeah, drug think? Drugs or an untreated mental illness. Either way, the footage alone is one of the creepiest out there. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude. Where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello everybody and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude. Before we get started, check out my Teespring store in the description down below. I have t-shirts, hoodies, coffee cups, tote bags, all kinds of stuff. It's not required, but... I'd really appreciate it. Today we're going to check one out from a channel called The Back of the Archives. And this is the creepiest ring doorbell camera footage. Disturbing. These ring doorbell cameras, I, I gotta get one. I think they're pretty cool. Let's check this out. Welcome to the first episode of The Creepy Archives, a series in which we're diving into some of the most disturbing events, media, and places that will leave you feeling uneasy. In today's video, we're focusing on something that's become incredibly common in households all over the world. Doorbell cameras have been around for a while, but the implantation of smart technology has helped them evolve to a point in which we can now access the cameras from our phones, yeah, receive alerts, that's what's and even cool speak about to the it. person outside regardless of where we are in the world. While they're incredibly useful to identify your guests before letting them in, there can also be very disturbing moments caught happening right outside your door. This technology is mainly focused on security, and while many claim collective paranoia is getting out of hand, the owners of the doorbell cameras we're about to see might think otherwise. On July 21st, 2021, Amanda Nowak updated her Facebook with an incredibly disturbing video pulled from her ring doorbell. As she was settling in for a night home alone, someone rang her doorbell. She checked the app only to see a man with grey hair and a grey full-grown beard who was persistently knocking on her door and ringing the bell. Amanda didn't recognise this man, so she ignored the knocking, but the stranger didn't leave. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? I, I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions. I don't think he's even talking to anyone. Are you sure? I think he's schizophrenic. I, I, well, what? Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah, I wouldn't answer the door. Are you sure? I just have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? I just have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? As well as knocking, he kept repeating he wanted to talk to her. That's he weird. had questions for her. Since she was home alone, she called her husband to tell him what was happening, and then she called 911. So Amanda's husband accessed the camera from his phone and saw the man too. Ignoring him wasn't doing the trick, so he decided to talk to him using the speaker. And this is what happened. So, who are you? What? Yeah? Are you sure? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about uh, maybe 
Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her in front of her. Can you have her open the door? I'm going to rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. I, I want to rape her in front Wow, her that's giving me chills. Yeah, and I just, uh, I'm going to knock on her door again. <laughs> Wow. After threatening the woman in a stone cold tone, he's gone. He doesn't even seem scared off. He just leaves. As the man calmly walks away, he continues to talk to himself all the way down the street. Yeah, he's schizophrenic or something. Something's wrong in his mind. Amanda was terrified, but she was also afraid that this man could move on to another house and actually end up hurting someone. Yeah. So she I, took the creepy footage. The way he said that, I believed him. And posted it to Facebook. And it was actually thanks to this Facebook post that the man was arrested. All right. A neighbor from the area recognized him from Amanda's Facebook post and called the police, who have not revealed his identity publicly. Amanda told reporters she never spoke or acknowledged him in any way. In fact, she hid out of view and stayed on the line with the 911 operator. That's the best the thing she could have done. So during the first part of the video, he was just talking to himself. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Just wow. by watching the footage, it's clear this man is not of sound mind at the time yeah. of the video. There are many theories, yes, drug think? Perhaps, or an untreated mental illness. Either way, the footage alone is one of the creepiest out there, so I can't even begin to imagine how scared Amanda must have felt. Wow, that guy What about you? Have you ever help. had a scary moment with a stranger outside your door? Tell us your story in the comments. Not like that. The following story took place two years ago, and to this day, still hasn't been solved. On the evening of November 12, 2019, the neighbors of Lamark Park in Los Angeles were shaken to the core by terrible screaming. Just after 11pm, a woman appeared to be in extreme distress and asking for help at the top of her lungs. As she screamed for help, the car she was sitting in drove away at full speed. A couple exited the house alarmed by the screaming and their doorbell camera captured the moment the car sped away while someone begged for help. Here is the incredibly creepy footage. Several calls were made to the police in regards to a possible kidnapping taking place. In fact, one of the owners of the doorbell camera is seen rushing into his own car to try and follow the suspicious car. I... However, he never managed to catch up to it. Another neighbor reported they also heard a man's voice saying what sounded like, I'm sorry, yeah. in between the woman's screaming. This is probably a domestic... The LAPD received several tips regarding the case and managed to identify the car model using other cameras in the area. They also looked into all the missing persons cases reported in the neighborhood the following days, but to this day, no leads have ever come up, and we still don't know who the screaming woman is, or if she's safe and well. All we have is a spine-chilling video caught on someone's doorbell camera of a woman screaming for help. Hopefully it was just some kind of a domestic disturbance that got settled. But I, I don't know.
The last creepy video captured on a doorbell camera takes us to North Carolina, where on February 10th, 2021, a woman got home to find her front porch furniture had been moved. Since nobody had been home that morning, she turned to her doorbell camera footage to find an explanation, but what she found was extremely disturbing. Standing on her front a front porch had been a man holding a knife. He paced around the porch for a while and proceeded to lift some of the furniture and move it around. At one point, he even trips and falls into some of the bushes in the garden. After reporting seeing something like this, apparently in the area, several people battle addiction and are often under the influence of different drugs. This leads them to have erratic behavior and yeah. even get aggressive. There, like, there was something on the ground. Was there a phone? I feel a sneeze coming on. I got. I don't want to do this. Come on. Go back a little bit. I thought I saw Apparently a phone. In the area, several right here. Addiction and are often under the influence of different that drugs. Off of there. This leads them to have a right there. behavior and even get aggressive. Luckily, there was nobody home when the man decided to pay a visit while holding a knife. But the images alone are enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. The man was eventually identified and located and was taken to a hospital for treatment. Okay. But the woman reported that she and her family have had trouble sleeping ever since. Of course, as well as these chilling stories, there have also been many pranks and confirmed hoaxes. Yeah, I People hate this People who think stuff. it's funny to dress up in a creepy costume and mess with the yeah, neighbors. They're gonna get... But the three cases come across the wrong are one hundred percent real, and it's some of the creepiest footage you can encounter while checking your security systems. So please always check before you answer the bell, and never open the door to strangers. You never know who's really standing on the other side. Yeah, that dude was creepy. I believed him when he was saying that. He. <sighs> Some scary stuff. Now it's time for the joke of the day. I hate tacos, said no one ever. Think about it. No one ever. No one ever. Nope. You got it. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends. Leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you...